Hello and welcome to today's video. We will review various MTH trains, snow plows. Just like the sound car review, I will do multiple cars at once in this video. To start off, I will identify these cars. MTH did four different snow removing rolling stock pieces of equipment. The two from the MTH Rail King line is the rotary snow plow and heavy duty snow plow. I have the rotary snow plow, it is the Rio Grande silver in the far left corner of your screen. I at one time had the heavy duty snow plow but I sold it as a part of a set so I will not be able to review one. I will not be showing you what a heavy duty snow plow looks like to protect myself from legal issues. The premier cars are a Jordan spreader and a standard snow plow. I will review these three pieces of rolling stock and I will not go into the history of these items, so we will start off with the rotary snowplow. Here we have the Rail King snowplow. The first item we will be taking a look at up close is the front of the plow. Up here we have a hatch that can move back and forth, so by just giving it a little bit of pressure, like so, you can change where the snow goes. And this is how the real car does operate. Also we got a headlight which illuminates and there is a cool feature on the front. The actual rotary fan in front does work and I will show you guys how to enable it later in the video. Moving along the sides, the sides are pretty much the same on both sides. You got clear detail of DRG and W and OM and the Rio Grande. You also got windows. You got molded in detail with the steps and doors. You also got some more windows down here, rotary, and you also got the build date and the repair date. Up here we have a chimney and we have a brake wheel. Also there is a catwalk on top making it similar to a boxcar. Now I believe MTH used the same design from their bunk cars. They made a lot of Rail King bunk cars so I believe this is the same exact design. Moving to the back, there is only one coupler on this car and as normal you just press down the tab and it will open. You also got a molded in door and molded in steps. Some better look at the front. We also got two windows on the front and a better look at the fan. Now if you just want to spin it freely you can kind of do it but it is a little bit hard to get it to actually spin and I believe it's because they're trying to encourage you to actually use the motor. Here we have the undercarriage of the rotary snow plow and for this video I will turn it on. Usually when I run it I only leave the snow plow on for about maybe two minutes before I shut it off at a time. There's a switch down here all you gotta do is turn it on you just gotta flip it. We're now gonna move on to the Jordan spreader and for a lot of you guys this is a very different car to add to your collection. So to start off, these Jordan spreaders, usually they could be at the front of the train. However, some of them you can't see through the front. So most of the time, these are put behind the locomotive. And I know the Alaska Railroad, they use it either way because they, can, they have windows in the front. And then they have engines that are capable of moving it through the snow. Some of their engines are equipped with better, better snow pushing equipment or removal in order for the spreader to continue doing its job. So we're going to start off with the coupler. This section right here is actually a pop out section. So what happens is when you get it, 90% of the time, the little sections up here and all I got to do is push it out and then there's a coupler and I will show you guys the bottom side of this car in a second so you guys can understand how this goes together. We're going to start off with the roof on this part of the car and then we will work our way down to the sides. So you got a little cylinder it is added in detail and I do not know what the cylinder could be for but I'm thinking that on the real one, the hatch pops out to the side or pops up and the coupler shoots out. Unfortunately, this wouldn't be able to be done on this type of car. 
To continue, we have some more handrails, and we got some stairs that lead into a door, and there are a headlight right here, and a little chimney right here. Also going down, we also got more handrails, and we got a little air tank. Moving to the back, just has a regular coupler. This is not a dummy coupler. The front coupler is a dummy coupler, so this does operate. All you got to do is push down on the coupler tab, and it should open. So now I'm going to show you why they call this a Jordan spreader. So, as you guys can tell, there are some other pieces I didn't cover in this video. And right now I'm going to show you guys what this car can do. So this does work on the real railroad. And what happens is they open the wings and it pushes the snow further out from the track. So this is the wings fully extended. And obviously when they go past a switch, they fold the wings in and then they fold them back out. So as I just showed you, all you got to do is pull them out. And to put them back, there are a little section that is bent. All you got to do is kind of push in and it should close easily like that. Some other detail is the nice crisp logo, Santa Fe, the number, Jordan on the side, and the front with another logo. Here's the underside of the Jordan spreader and you guys can see here that this is a coupler. It's a blind coupler so obviously it attaches to the body and there is some form of spring or protective mesh that prevents it from hitting the body or damaging and allows the flexibility of the car to make it around curves. We are now at the last piece of snow removing equipment and this one is probably a nice car to add as a starter for snow removing equipment and it's more easier to operate this one and not worry about pieces breaking off. This one is better built however if you've seen the heavy duty snow plow that one would be the one to go if you're looking for a snow plow to start with. So this one has the same thing as the Jordan spreader where there's a dummy coupler that you can just pop in there. There's a little piece you just push out and the piece comes out. You got a air horn on top, a illuminated light, all these windows, handrails on top, a chimney stack, and a coupler down here with a brake wheel. Now some other cool features that this thing has is there's a door on the side that does not open. You got more molded in detail and I will show you guys the door on the sides. So this is similar to the Jordan car. All you got to do is just pull them open like so and there you go. Now for this portion of the this review I will show you guys the actual workings on how this thing does close because I did not show you guys that with the Jordan. First we'll get to the coupler in the back of the car. So the coupler is an operating coupler. Just push down the tab, it opens. You got some more molded in detail, separately applied handrail, and a dummy door back here. So now I'm going to show you guys how to close the wings. So this one only has one little thing that's holding it. All you got to do is do the same thing. And sometimes you just need a little bit of touch and sometimes it just closes by itself. So at this time I'm going to be doing some techniques different in this video than other review videos. So my recommendation is for those that are looking for actual snow removing equipment. They do sell these and they have different row names for you guys to collect. So if you look at any store out there, there's a good chance you'd be able to find one in a railroad that you would like. They have been making a lot of different railroads that they haven't produced before. So the most recent thing that they've been producing is the Jordan Spreader and the Rotary Snowplow. The heavy duty car gets produced a lot as well but you don't see the regular snowplow over here that much anymore. It's basically a once in a while run that they do. And they change between all four of the 
different plows. So the Rio Grande and the Santa Fe Jordan Spreader are the only two snow removing equipment pieces I own. The other one is from a collection that I'm selling that I'm borrowing for this review video. And I will sh explain to you guys that the reason why I kept the two is because they actually have operating features that you can actually see and are a lot more realistic looking. Now, even though that snowplow does look realistic and it has a lot of realistic features, I think people like to see different designed train cars. Like, if you take a look at the snowplow, the regular Union Pacific, it looks like a caboose at a certain degree. And I think with the Jordan Spreader, it looks completely different. It looks like it's an actual maintenance of way car. Alrighty guys, so I have the power to the track so I can show you guys the lighted up cars and the fan actually working. Now, just to give you guys a warning, I believe the fan may have a timer inside the car, but I'm quite not sure because there's been times the fan has stopped on me with the switch on. So, just a word of caution for you guys that own or plan to purchase a rotary snowplow. Alrighty guys, this wraps up this review. Thank you guys for watching. And if you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. If you have a friend that may like this channel, tell them about the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.